Hey everyone, it's Wowos. We're here with a Hearthstone video today. Rise of the Shadows, the new expansion for Hearthstone was announced, and so we're just going to run through um, what's been announced already, take a look at the cards, and talk a little bit about uh, my thoughts about it as, as a longtime Hearthstone player. Um, so you can see here, um, they're introducing a few new um, components, uh, lackeys, schemes, twin spell, we'll run through those. It's available for pre-purchase now, we'll talk a little bit about that, and then we'll take a look at all the cards. Um, the Hearthstone website is pretty terrible at providing sort of uh, useful information about this. Um, but in terms of lackeys, uh, you'll see here as this card plays out, um, there's there's essentially these little 1-1 one, one creatures that will do um, different things, and they haven't really announced them all, it's just these two thus far. Um, but it's sort of like... Um, you know, potions or any of the other little things that are just sort of one um, mana uh, stuff that will will do something. Um, so they're all going to be one cost uh, minions with battle cries. So that's what lackeys are. Um, and then there's schemes, um, which are just cards basically that grow stronger the longer you have them in your hand. Um, so that's great and all. And you can see here it ends turn and then um, it'll level up and, you know, it does two damage. And then each turn that you hold it, the longer you hold it, the more powerful it becomes. Um, so not all in all that confusing of a concept. Um, callbacks, uh, there are going to be characters that are called back. Um, so these are, are characters like Rafam or other characters that uh, maybe have been utilized before in the game, but now they're going to do something new, like a new exciting twist. And then um, the twin spell is pretty basic. Um, basically you can cast, it's like an echo that you can use one time, but you don't have to use it that turn. So um, you get a second copy of the card. It doesn't have twin spell, so you can only use it twice, but it doesn't have to be that turn. Um, and and uh, you can see here there's two options in terms of pre-purchasing if you're interested in doing that. Um, the basic bundle has 50 cards uh, or 50 packs uh, at $50 essentially US dollars. Um, so it's about a dollar per pack which is the normal um, thing and you get a, a legendary with that. And then if you bump it up to the the 80 um, one at $80 which is fairly expensive you get a hero, you get a golden legendary um, and you get the same card back um, and there's still a dollar per pack. So um, about the same as, as always. Nothing too too crazy there are too exciting with the pre-purchase. Um, so let's take a look quickly at the cards and just run through the cards that have been released already and maybe we'll do a couple more videos about this as time goes on um, just to give you a few of my thoughts. So we'll start with Spell Word Jeweler. Your battle cry, um, your hero can't be targeted by spells or hero powers until your next turn. Three mana, three four. Uh, overall, I would say that this card is pretty effective. Um, it might be useful in, in some decks. I can see this getting um, some use. The battle cry is not bad. The three four is not bad for um, a three mana minion. And especially, you have to remember that um, a lot of three mana minions like Tar Creeper and um, Stonehill Defender are rotating out. So there's not a lot in terms of at that three, um, especially as you're ramping up. This could be see a lot of play because of that. And at the rare level, you're, that's typically where you see kind of those better cards at uh, at three mana. Um, Caligos, uh, the dragon. Um, this is a mage legendary, uh, ten mana, four twelve. Very similar to Sarah. Um, your first spell each turn costs zero. Battle cry, discover a spell. So this is a pretty sick mage card. Um, that first spell each turn costing zero is great. Of course, you got to get to very late game for this to be effective. Um, but if you discover something like a pyroblast, um, you know you could dual pyroblast if you get uh, two of them, and that's 20 damage plus the four that this deals. Um, if you can keep it alive for another turn. So um, obviously, the longer that you can keep this out there, the better. But you can't really combo it by itself. Um, where it's 10 mana unless you get something along the line that will help reduce the cost of it. So um, you're going to have to find a way to drop this and hopefully they don't have any sort of removal or silence. Um, but I think you'll see more silence, especially when this uh, when this um, expansion comes out, because again, the power level of the game drops every time that the expansions come out and you start seeing people drop more things like, um, you know, the, the common, uh, you know, the owl and um, the spell whatever his name is, the 4-3 that's a silence from um, the classic. 
so I would say Caligos is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, Chef Nomi is going to be annoying. Um, if your deck is empty, summon 6-6-6 six, 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 Greasefire Elementals. 6-6 six, six is a tough power and health uh, because you know you can't flame strike you can't really do much in terms of removal for six six sixes um, that basically fills your board with six sixes um, along with this guy so then you're facing and and you're probably low on a deck as well um, so it doesn't give you much opportunity to do much um, you, you may see more if this is get gets played a lot more of the sort of nether um, stuff that wipes out the entire board um, let's move on to the Forest Aid. Um, this is the twin spell that they showed. It summons 5 2 2 Trance. Um, pretty good. I don't know that it will see like a ton of play, but it's going to depend on what it can combo with. Um, you know, 5 2 2s is pretty good, um, but it's very susceptible to removal at least once. You know, I think about against a mage, you're talking about Blizzard, Flame Strike, um, those sorts of things, Holy um, Nova from the Priest, like almost any deck um, can can wipe out 2 2s, um, especially at this 8, pow at eight mana level. Haggis' Scheme, this is what they showed in terms of the upgrades. Pretty basic Shaman spell, right? Deals 1 damage to all minions, goes up each turn. I'm sure that this will be um, a powerful card that you'll be able, if you build your deck around certain things, you'll be able to combo it with other stuff and do a lot. Uh, Evil Miscreant, uh, you see here, he adds um, two random lackeys to your hand, one, five, three power again. Um, could see a lot of play depending on what all the lackeys look like um, and how effective they are, but at three mana, again, there's going to be a dearth of cards uh, there, so a 1-5 that has a pretty good um, combo there. Could be useful in rogue decks. Um, so I, I don't see why you wouldn't play this in a rogue deck um, if the lackeys are, are strong enough. And knowing that those one mana um, lackeys will be super helpful for other combos. Uh, so I think there's a lot of potential for that card. Forbidden Words, uh, spend all your mana destroy a minion with that much attack or less. Um, that can be really good if you in the right situation, right? If you if you're uh, if you're dealing with a Caligos, right, for zero, um, you can you know, for ten mana you could destroy it. If you have ten mana, you can wipe it out and that's the only card down. Um, otherwise if they have a one you know, if you have a one mana card down and a bunch of higher ones, you may end up getting hosed if you drop you know, too much mana on this. But I think it, it actually would be more effective probably early game, right? When you see um, maybe one, two, and threes, and you have three mana and you just drop this because you don't have anything else in your hand that maybe you can play, um, you'll at least uh, eliminate one of the heroes. So uh, I don't think this will get a ton of use, um, but I can see it maybe being somewhat effective in, in certain situations. And the final legendary here that they showed today, Archvillain Rafam, um, Taunt, Battle Cry, Replace Your Hand and Deck with Legendary Minions. Um, we've all seen how this plays out uh, in Hearthstone. Um, you either end up really lucky or, you know, it's a terrible um, end to your game. You just go complete RNG, um, whatever you luck out with. So, he... You know he's not going to get he's not going to be played in every deck, um, even with the Warlocks, unless there's again some sort of combo that we haven't seen yet that he he can be really powerful with. But I think what you'll see is that he'll get used uh, in arena a little bit. He'll get used in um, you know certain decks if you build it around uh, this character. But I don't expect him to be a, a game breaking or widespread hero. Just knowing that we've seen this type of thing before, where you replace everything with legendaries and. The legendaries are just all over the place in terms of some of them are great and some of them stink um, and usually end up, it seems like, with the ones that stink in your hand and the ones that you can't really use. So um, wouldn't be a card that I would drop in a, in a Warlock deck. So those are sort of my thoughts thus far. I'm interested to see what you all think. I think this expansion um, will be good. Um, from the cards already, I think they're on the right track, um, and I think it's a very important one. I think something to remember if you're considering purchasing um, this is that this is the first expansion of the new year, so you get these cards for the full two years. So in terms of maximizing value, if you're going to buy one of the three sets this year, this is the best set because you get to use it for the longest amount of time in standard, um, and that's usually a decision-making factor for me in terms of uh, pre-purchase. Um, I typically pre-purchase the first one each year 
because you end up having those cards for such a long time and these cards will be played for the next two years so just something to think about um, but please do subscribe like leave a comment let me know what you want to see more of um, i'm hoping to do more of these card reviews as they come out so thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day